So are you interested in incorporating a little spirituality into your day-to-day, -day, but you just don't know how? Well, if you're interested, you are absolutely in the right place. Hi, I'm Carly Myers, your friendly stress management expert. And this month we're talking about spirituality and even a little bit of religious trauma. We're exploring about what spirituality really means for each and every one of us and what it can look like. It could look very similar to what everyone else in your life does or experiences, or it could look very, very different. And with that in mind, I brought on Elizabeth Rachel. And Elizabeth Rachel is an award-winning communications professional and a well-being advocate. She helps career women fuse spirituality and practicality to lead a purposeful life. Now, I loved the idea of bringing Elizabeth on the show because we're kind of, you know, spirituality can be one of those things where it's hard to bring into our work. It's kind of hard to bring into our corporate life because we're not sure how it's going to work out. And so I think that this is going to be a really, 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 really great conversation. So buckle up, maybe grab your tea, sit down, and let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to the show, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Absolutely. So for those of us who don't, don't know you, maybe we don't know your story, how did you end up in this line of work? Like, how did you end up where you are today? Oh, absolutely. So in my day job and what I actually am today, I'm actually a communications account director at an agency. For those who don't know, agency life tends to be a little crazy and stressful for lack of a, a better uh, description. They're usually <laughs> ranked highest in some of the most stressful jobs in America. And so after a few bouts of just workplace and career burnout, I realized that there was a lot more to life than just your job. And so I realized that I wasn't the only one feeling this way. You know, the way corporate America works, we really have um, just this mentality of work, 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 go, 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 check our lists off, just check things off the bucket item lists that are quote unquote supposed to make us happy. And yet they're not really. Uh, so once I realized that, I, I realized that there were a lot of other women out there who were just like me in those early to mid stages of their career who could absolutely use just an infusion of spirituality, practicality, and something that was just a little bit more accessible to really focus on their overall well being and health, right? Our jobs shouldn't be our lives. So that's a little bit about me. Yeah, I love that. And it, you know, it reminds me of something that I heard my my own mentor say this morning. I'm actually looking at my notes because I, I highlighted it and underlined it a couple of times. And it's really, she said, this is an opportunity to show up in our strengths. The, the opportunity to show up in our strengths is to take spiritual soothing and turn it into spiritual practice. And what she meant by that was not being afraid to take it into your day to day. Just taking it, you know, your morning journaling, your, your whatever you're doing every morning and really fusing it throughout your day. So I, I absolutely love that. Now, Elizabeth, I know that you came prepared to, to share, you know, I always ask our guests to share one piece of advice. If you had a piece of advice for someone who was in your shoes or someone who might be listening to this, what would that piece of advice be? So I, I'm going to let you take it away because I know you have a really powerful, um, it's a really powerful kind of lesson or takeaway to share with the community today. Absolutely. And so for me, it's all about energy and mindset and management. I think that's really critical and I think that's key. And I think that's a great way to infuse a little spirituality or a little woo into say your corporate life or any aspect of your life for that matter. Um, it's a matter of setting up rituals that really allow you to fill your cup so that you can show up to your work day, to your uh, life in general, to your, for your family, for your friends, et cetera, ready to tackle the day. And so um, I have a few just tips that really I feel um, help a lot when it comes to that. So one of which is self-awareness. Um, and you can really dive deeper into that with the prospect of journaling. I know a lot of people look at journaling like, what is this? Am I writing a diary? How does one start journaling? Yeah, you know, we yeah. all look at it. I felt the same way. I was like, I'm not putting my thoughts down on paper. What are you talking about? But okay. hey, it's cheaper than a therapist. No, but okay. in actuality, journaling has the ability especially if you're working from a gratitude perspective to rewire our brains, right? We are allowing ourselves to change our neural pathways so that our, we're not always in this constant negative state. Sometimes you ever just feel anxious and you just need to get it out. Journaling has the ability to really help us and allow that. And also here's a little bit of the woo. I'm into manifestation and manifestation really is uh, the law of attraction, right? Like attracts like your thoughts um, become your reality. And so 
journaling and manifestation go hand in hand. By journaling in present tense or past tense, we have the ability to say what we're calling into our lives. So if you want to have a better work day, if you want to, if you have a big meeting coming up and you want it to go well, sometimes I will script out exactly how I want it to go in past tense as if it has already happened. And that's signaling to our brains that, oh, this has already occurred. Oh, this is happening. And it also just kind of helps calm things and Hopefully, um, it's one of those things, self-fulfilling prophecies, and it comes into your life in the way that you're hoping and describing, et cetera. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. And I think that like you, I've heard this in so many ways, and I want to connect the dots for folks who who may have heard of visualization or like visualizing, um, or if, if we have any folks that follow, follow Kyle Cease, comedian turned life coach, right? And he does this thing called collegoing, which is in the verbal you know, it's a verbal version of this, but scripting is absolutely, I use it in my life. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I own the business that I own today. And it, I think allows for the opportunity for you to solve problems before you create them, right? It's, it's showing up. It's, it's, um, if we think about a course in miracles definition of a miracle, it's a shift in perspective that can create a, a completely different day, a different opportunity, a different outcome than, perhaps what we didn't want, but something we did. So I love that you brought that forward. Oh yeah, 100%. I'm just, I, I'm so, such a big proponent of journaling. I also think that, you know, sometimes it's good to create a sacred space for yourself, like a sacred workspace. So something that I actually love to do and I have in my corner is just like a really powerful message to myself. It's, um, you know, be fearless in pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. I found that being a lot more of my authentic help uh, my authentic self, excuse me, uh, helped me to become uh, just a better version of myself in the workplace, in life, in all aspects. And also just taking some of these written words, written um, journal prompts, et cetera, and turning them into affirmations. And I actually tend to put them up in a little corner. And so I do that in my workspace because it brings me joy. And I think it's really important to think about what brings you joy in your workspace so that you have that as a focal point to really kind of have as your sacred reminder uh, of your self-worth and your value uh, and what you bring to the table. Yeah, I love that. And thinking about some ways that, in which I do that in my life, like, uh, so I have Gmail and Gmail has this incredible feature where you can snooze emails. <laughs> and one way that I do that is I actually send, like snooze myself affirmations. Uh, so I am loved, I am X, Y, and Z, insert what I'm working on at the time. And I'll snooze that to myself every day, every week, depending on what it is. Um, so I, I think that that's a really powerful, a powerful thing to bring forward too. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so, so much for sharing these tips. I think this is a really great place to start. If you're curious, maybe a little spiritually curious, you want to experience more grounding. Maybe you just want to feel what it's like to have that, that sense of contentment. This is an absolutely beautiful place to start. Now, if you're feeling overworked and exhausted, I've got some great news. The Stress Less Company works with high achieving executives, business owners, and managers just like you to find that sense of peace and freedom that they desire. And really, as a result of our work together, they not only learn how to deepen their spiritual connection, whatever that means to them, they also learn those tactical tools so that they can experience more free time, more efficiency, and yes, even more prosperity. Sounds pretty great, right? Well, you can apply for a complimentary stress assessment today to start the conversation about working together. Simply visit stresslessco.com slash apply for more information and of course to apply. Now, for those of you who are listening, we absolutely love it when you comment, when you engage. And so we wanna know, you know, what stood out to you from today's episode? What, maybe what routine, what ritual are you gonna start, start putting into place? so that you can go throughout your day with more grounded energy and more fulfillment. So this concludes this episode of the Stress Less Show. I wanna give one last big shout out to Elizabeth. Thank you so, so much for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. And if anyone is curious, they can learn more about me at elizabethrachel.co. Beautiful. And if you've enjoyed this week's episode, let us know by giving us a big old thumbs up and hitting that follow or subscribe button. Thanks for listening. Share if it resonated and we will see you next week. Bye.